2 Corinthians chapter 12 and Proverbs chapter 22. Now, I'm going to meddle a little bit if I can here today because 2 Corinthians chapter 12 has a specific verse that I have used in counseling situations when I have faced abusive elderly parents abusing their adult offspring. And here's the verse. It says um, in verse 14, after all, children should not have to save up for their parents, but parents for their children. New Living Translation says this way, children don't provide for their parents, rather parents provide for their children. Now, the Bible is very clear that um, when you're older in your 50s and 60s and you have parents in their 70s and 80s and your parents truly cannot provide for themselves, that you are obligated to take care of your parents, to uh, you know, provide food for your parents, make sure your parents don't starve. But I, as a pastor, have dealt with uh, many situations in a very narcissistic, self-centered age. It would shock you how many times I've dealt with uh, parents in their 60s and 70s who are just lazy, terribly lazy, who are so mean to their adult offspring. Well, you're my kid. You have to take care of me. These are people who could work, who could provide for themselves, but they say, well, I'm your parent. You have to take care of me. And, and many times it's it's adults who have children, who adults who have tremendous responsibilities and they love God and they feel like, well, am I supposed to honor my parents? And here's these lazy, mean, older people who you have to take care of me. They're not willing to work. They're not willing to take care of themselves and they could take care of themselves. Now, again, I, I want to be careful here. There's sometimes that an older parent can't take care of themselves, but you know, I, I'm in my mid sixties now and my, my both best parents and my parents were, were very careful and are very careful to try to not be a burden to their children. Beth and I are doing everything we can that in the next 20, 30 years, we'll never be a burden to our children. And that's what a parent's job is, to not want to be a burden. But I've seen many parents who are intentionally burdens to their kids. And I say to the kids, that's not Bible. The Bible says that it's not the job of the children to provide for the parents, but it's the job of the parents to provide for the children. Powerful verse, head adjusting verse, heart adjusting verse, not to exclude situations where there's truly a crisis, but to exclude lazy, selfish, mean, older people who just want their, their kids to take care of them because they're not willing to work hard themselves. Let's go over to Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 11 says, he who loves a pure heart and whose speech is gracious will have the king for his friend. In the Message Bible, verse 11 says this, God loves the pure hearted. And I love that. God loves the pure hearted, well-spoken. Lead, good leaders also delight in their friendship. And so this is a verse that as a pastor, um, there's two things. When someone is pure hearted, that means they come to a leader and they say, I have no agenda other than to serve you. And if someone has that kind of pure heart and they're gracious in the way they deal with people, that's a gem. That's a very, very precious gem. And it says good leaders delight in their friendship. So as someone who carries a lot of responsibility, and I know many other senior pastors, when you have someone under you that they have no agenda but to serve, that's the pure hearted, and they are gracious in the way they deal with people. You say, oh, I want that person close to me. What a great verse to have a pure heart and to be gracious. Good leaders will delight in your friendship. So today, may you be someone that your heart is just to serve those above you. And may you be so gracious that the people above you delight in your friendship. God bless you. Have an awesome day.